After the passing of XXX, Tentacion, a lot of theories have gone underground concerning the true nature of his demise. Some fans still think his hit was staged. Let's get some of the details about the rapper and let you figure out why the whole popping and dropping was staged. X's passing. The rapper Jase Onfroy, popularly known as XXX Tentacion, passed away in mid June of 2018 from a fatal gunshot wound after two men pursued and gunned him down as he was leaving a Riva Motorsports in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Investigators identified a 22 year old Michael Boatwright as one of the two suspects who took part in this attack, which led to the untimely loss of X's life. Michael Boatwright was arrested on July 10th, 2018. There was no second suspect at that time, but detectives took to investigate investigating a Robert Allen, who they deemed as a person of interest in the case. He is a 22-year-old and the Broward Sheriff's Office notes that Allen is also wanted in Broward County on a felony warrant for violation of probation for possession of PVP, Flocka, and carrying a concealed firearm. Although prior to the charges leveled against Boatwright, another person of interest in the case is a tattoo artist that is suspected of preventing X's car from leaving Riva Motorsports. The police also charged on a probation violation for a theft of a car and driving without a valid license. He had previously been arrested on the other charge, an unrelated drug charge, according to the Broward Sheriff's Office report. The report from the Broward Sheriff's Office confirmed that Jase Onfroy, known worldwide as Triple X Tentacion, tragically passed away from a gunshot wound in Deerfield, Florida. His rep said in a statement, in deference to his family, friends, and loved ones, and in light of further investigation, we ask that their privacy be respected at this time. X touched the lives of millions around the globe and will forever reside in the hearts of countless fans who listened to his music, attended his concerts, and felt the glow of his uncontainable, undeniable, and unique spirit. According to the statement from the Broward County Sheriff's Office, officers investigated a developing incident regarding a shooting located at 3671 north of Dixie Highway, Deerfield Beach. Regional Communications received a call of a shooting at the above location at 3 57 p.m. An adult male victim was transported to an area hospital. The Broward County Sheriff's Office subsequently tweeted that the adult male that was taken to the hospital has been pronounced dead at approximately 5.30 p.m. BSO homicide detective said that 20-year-old victim was leaving Riva Motorsports in Deerfield Beach shortly before 4 p.m. when he was approached by two armed suspects. The Broward Sheriff's Department added in a statement, at least one of the suspects fired a gun striking X. Both of the suspects fled in a dark color SUV. Investigators say it appears to be a possible robbery. Drake, XXX, Tentacion, Conspiracy. As far as conspiracy theories go, we've heard worse, but it still leaves your jaw dropping. The new details concerning the case of X, although a bit far-fetched, might very well drag Drake through the mud on this one. The theory says that he was involved in X's demise. Did Drake really have X taken down? According to the police, the rapper was leaving his location around 4 p.m. on that Monday when two armed suspects with red masks approached his car and shot him after stealing his Louis Vuitton bag. According to the Broward County Sheriff, they had no official suspects at that time. Despite the loopholes in the case, fans have taken to different platforms to host their own investigation. One of the most obscene conspiracy theories about his passing is that Drake had him pop. As far as theories go, they usually sound bonkers, but the truth is, they are born from a tiny fact that is usually magnified into something else. This one is born out of a true feud between X and Drake. The rapper's career really picked up in 2017 when he dropped a single titled Look At Me that gained a wide following on SoundCloud. Why fans think there is something fishy going on on here is how much Drake touted X during an interview. He said he was impressed with him and promised to get a feature done with him. He said he would contact X's manager within a few days. It's safe to say that this was a promise that he never followed through on. In that same week, Drake performed a new song, KMT, that X's fans are saying sounds a lot like the rapper's hit track, Look At Me. X wasted no time in launching a Twitter assault that called Drake out for allegedly stealing his song. He later deleted the tweets, claiming that his account was hacked. In a later investigation with XXL Mag, X was forced to address the feud between himself and Drake with the more civil approach, letting fans know what was really going on in his head. I'm aware of what Drake does as an artist, the rapper said, hinting that he in fact thought that Drake was guilty of using other artists' music. But if Drake is gonna take the flow, and I don't know if he legitimately did, but if that is the situation, at least reach out. And then if you wanna run off with the flow, then run off with the flow. But I'm going through a lot right now, so it would've been nice that before that happened to me, for Drake to have reached out to me personally, he added in the interview. He was no doubt trying to mitigate the situation 
situation, but the damage was already done. It was all water under the bridge, but not in a good way. It was said that he later apologized to Drake for coming at him the way he did in an Instagram story. He also wrote that if anyone tried to drop him, it would be Drake. This singular statement alone has birthed a lot of conspiracy theories that seem to revolve around the Canadian rapper being responsible for X's popping. It was also very convenient that around the time that he said this, he was shot almost a couple of weeks later. People have argued about the timing, the method, and the whole details surrounding his passing, which seems a bit fishy. We'll get to that part later. But fast forward to a couple of months, after the rapper got dropped cold, fans have started blaming Drake for this unfortunate incident where the rapper lost his life. The whole idea surrounding it being made to look like a robbery is also another thing that people have put a pin on and called it bogus. Fans think he faked it all. So many different theories about how and why he was popped are going on out there. Too much to actually count, but the fact remains that he was taken out of the scene before he could fully maximize his potential. Almost half a decade after the rapper's demise and people still can't believe he is really gone. Some are still holding on to the hope that this might have been one elaborate scheme and he will pop back into the spotlight like a jack-in-the-box toy, but this might not be so. The circumstances around his passing looks like it was staged as many loopholes keep letting fans find one conspiracy theory or the other, but the fact remains, he just might be gone for good. In a posthumous music video by the rapper, a scene shows him attending his own funeral, which has again raised a lot of suspicion and theories in its wake. People think he faked the whole thing, despite the authorities confirming that he actually has passed away. Why fans think this still might be bogus is mainly because he has done something similar in the past. One Twitter thread shows his previously publicity stunt where he apparently faked his own demise, but later came out to confirm that it was for a music video that he was shooting at the time. In the August video, the hip-hop star denied he was dropped after a stunt in which he made it seem like he actually hung himself. Everybody got to chill the <laughs> out, said the rapper. No one said I died. Relax. I had to hurry up and post so you didn't think I was dead. Because I don't want any of my fans popping themselves. Calm them down. It's for a music video. I'm not dead. A Twitter user at Vast and Vain suggests that the star either faked his getting popped, maybe due to the amount of conspiracy in his life, along with the overwhelming fame or to promote a new single possibly called No Post. Although there is no proof that X had any song or a single by the name at that time. The tweet doesn't stop there as he or she goes on to point out how a video from the original crime scene showed no blood, no shattered glass, no bullet holes, and also pointed out that some details were inconsistent like the rapper's forehead tattoo not showing in the clip. All he was suggesting in the bottom line is that this could have been a double of X and the real one was actually alive and well. The fake tweet. It's easy to let those who are no more rest, but when repeated theories keep surfacing, we just have to talk about it. Early last year, the internet was met by an anomaly when the rapper's account had a tweet that said he is in fact still alive. He stated that he would be making a comeback in 2022. Sorry I faked my death. Sorry if I made you cry. But honestly, I did this for a reason. I'll be back officially in 2022. Anticipate on my coming album in 2022. Thanks to you all. The tweet said, This is the text from what seems to be a leaked screenshot from a tweet by the rapper X. The tweet was made in May 2021 and was posted on Facebook in South Africa in that same month. A search of the rapper's verified Twitter account shows that the account has been dormant for a while and the last tweet on his account dates back to December 10th, 2019. The tweet urges his fans to continue streaming and sharing his final album, Bad Vibes Forever. X Found Alive? Some fans seem to think that their favorite singer and songwriter has been found alive. There was an Instagram post that featured a picture of the late rapper saying that he was found alive in 2019. This picture has been making waves around the internet ever since then. The image was posted on April 15, 2019. The Instagram account at LMAO Schoolie, who posted it, currently has over 37k followers. The post claims that the rapper was indeed found alive during the search for a missing kid. It says that police found a house in the middle of the woods during this search and apparently X was found there. The post also claims that he was taken into custody and will be serving a six-month sentence in jail. It doesn't give much info and details as to the correctional facility that he was taken to. Just the bits of info that suggests that the rapper just might be breathing. Eerie coincidence. His legacy. 
What is strange about all of this is the fact that he knew he was probably going to die. Some fans taking it as a premonition while others just imagine that he built up the anticipation for it and then poof, he sealed it with his most elaborate prank yet. We don't know what actually happened but X did speak on his passing a few days before it actually happened. Fans started sharing a strange and undated Instagram live video. In this video, X was talking about what he wanted his legacy to be after he's no more. If worse things comes to worse and I die or some and I'm not able to see out my dreams, I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive and to at least have a good life, he said. If I'm going to ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least 5 million kids happy or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life regardless of the negative around my name, regardless of the bad things people say to me, the rapper added. Inconsistency in his certificate quite a number of evidence suggesting that his passing on certificate was forged as further fueled the manhunt for the truth of the matter. Officials said that they found a man who had forged the certificate when he misspelled the word registry. The name of the deceased was also typed in a weird unusual font on the certificate. Other details like the manner of his passing appeared to be printed in much smaller font than normal. What really took the cake on this whole thing was that the name of the department that would have issued the certificate was also misspelled. The certificate, which supposedly came from the New Jersey Department of Health, Vital Statistics and Registry, had it rendered as Brexitry. Those errors led prosecutors to charge a Long Island man who was facing sentencing on two felony charges. We've seen it where people fake their passing so that they can receive life insurance benefits or where family members have passed away and no one notifies anyone so they could keep collecting those benefits. But I've never seen anything like this. Madeline Singers, the Nassau County District Attorney said, the big question still stands. Was it all planned? Is the rapper still alive? And where is he? These questions will continue to birth different speculation till the fans have an answer, which might just take forever.